Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HDA 925 HDMI audio extractor. This product will separate the audio stream from any high definition HDMI input source and allow you to pass that audio stream to a soundbar or home audio system to get the best possible sound. The product features three different audio output options, including analog, optical, and ARC, which is the new standard you'll use with a lot of the newer gear. It also supports the latest HDMI standards. It can stream at 18 gigabytes a second and features an EDID switch on the front in case you need to make adjustments for the synchronization between your input and output devices. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product to show you everything that comes with the kit. Then I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections, the buttons, and indicators so you know how to hook it up once you get it home. I'll provide some of the audio and video standards of product and support. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install the unit here to show you just how simple it'll be to use it once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the HDA 925. We include a power supply, which is a standard 5 volt power supply. Plug this into the wall, this plugs into the back of the unit, and that's all the connection you'll need for power. We also include a full instruction manual that gives you detailed diagrams of how to connect up the unit, talks about some of the audio and video standards that can support, type of cables you'll need. There's warranty information in there and contact information in case you have questions. Now the next section, I'm gonna do a close up of the unit, again, to explain all the connections you'll need to get it working once you get it home, so stay tuned for that. Now we'll take a closer look at the HDA 925. The first thing to note is the metal enclosure, which was an intentional design decision by the engineering teams at O-Ray to help minimize outside interference from degrading the sensitive internal video and audio signals the product is decoding. It also makes it extremely durable. On the front of the product, you'll find a series of LEDs along the left-hand side indicating what the current audio standard you're decoding is, and you can step through those choices by tapping the E-DID switch. Every time you tap that, it'll move to the next choice. When you get to the end, if you tap it again, it'll cycle back to the first one. To the right of that is the ARC control button. You can turn ARC on and off. Now ARC is a, an advanced HDMI handshake that's used on a lot of the newer monitors and a lot of the new video equipment. On the older equipment, you may not want to have that on, so it's nice that we give you the choice to turn it on when you need it and turn it off when you don't. On the right-hand side and the left-hand side, you've got venting, which helps to keep the internal electronics at a comfortable temperature. On the bottom, there are bracket holes here where you can actually mount L brackets and mount this to a wall. On the back of the unit, you have a series of connections, and I'll start on the right-hand side with the power input. That's where you'll use the included power supply. You'll plug this end into the wall. This barrel connector gets plugged into the back of the unit, and that's all the power you'll need to run it. To the left of that is the HDMI input port. You'll connect an HDMI cable from this to whatever source you want to decode the audio for. That could be a game console or cable box. You'll make that connection, and then you'll move on to making your output connections. To the left of that is the ARC HDMI output. This is your main output port that you'll connect up to your monitor or your projector so you can view whatever source you've got connected to this. It's nice that we provide this as a pass-through and then it allows you to extract the audio. These three connections are where the audio output connections are made. So if you have a device that can support HDMI audio out, you'll connect it to this. You won't get video here, it'll only be audio. To the left of that is a digital connection for optical out and to the left of that you'll find the left and right audio out, which is an analog connection. And that's pretty much all you need to know to use the unit. The HDA 925 is an extremely flexible product that supports virtually any device that delivers a high definition HDMI stream, including PCs, game consoles, streaming devices like Roku, home surveillance systems, and cable boxes. It supports a wide range of video standards that include 4K at 50 and 60 Hertz, including YUV444. It's HDMI 2.0 compliant and can stream up to 18 gigabytes a second. It's also HDCP 2.2 compliant and DVI compliant. It provides full ARC function support and features an EDID switch for compatibility on the front of the unit. The audio standards are also as expansive and it supports left and right audio for two channel, bitstream for 5.1 channel support, it has a dedicated HDMI port for audio, the ARC standard, and finally supports Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital, DTS Digital, DTS HD Master, and Dolby DTS 7.1 and 5.1 channels. Now I'll show you how you can use the HDA 925 with your own equipment at home to help produce crystal clear audio through your soundbar or home audio system. 
For this demonstration, I'm using a media player as my HDMI source, but the HDA925 supports a wide range of products, including home computers, game consoles, DVD players, pretty much any device with an HDMI connection will work just fine with the product. I've currently got that media player connected up to a monitor that doesn't have the ability to play audio, so any music or sounds you hear will come directly from the HDA925. This represents your widescreen TV or your projector system at home. Finally, I have an amplified speaker with an analog 3.5mm connection on it, and I'll use that to play the music that's being extracted by the 925 from that HDMI stream between the media player and the monitor. Now, connecting this up to your own equipment only requires a few simple connections, and I'll show you that now. The first connection you'll make will be the HDMI input connection, and that comes from your media source. So I've disconnected it from the monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI input source on the back. Now the unit is a pass-through device, so it allows me to actually loop back the video. So I'll connect another cable to the back of the monitor, and connect that to the HDMI output on the device. And that way I can watch the video and extract the audio at the same time. Now I'll connect up the power connection. I've already plugged it into the wall, so I'll plug that in the back. So those three connections are power, HDMI input, HDMI output. And you'll see on the front that I've already got a light lit up, and it's going to take a second for the monitor to come back. And what's happening there is this device is actually checking the input resolution against the output resolution, making whatever adjustments are necessary to give you the best possible picture. Now if I start the video, you notice it's playing, but there's no audio coming from it. And that again is because the monitor doesn't have the ability to play audio. So you have three choices for audio out on the back of the device, HDMI, optical, or analog, which is what I'm going to use here. And the minute I connect this up, that's the audio from the video. Now I could have used the optical or the HDMI, depending on what equipment I'm using, I'll pick that selection based on the connections on that device. Let me turn this off a second. So that's all there really is to it. It's a very simple device to use and you have a choice of different styles of audio on the front. You can use the HDMI connection on the back if you need to as well for some of the more modern equipment. And you can also turn ARC on and off by tapping that button, which again is that advanced handshake for the HDMI signal going between your media source and your TV. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get it working at home. I hope you found this overview of the HDA925 HDMI audio extractor helpful. It really does provide a very simple way of separating an audio stream from any high definition HDMI input source and allows you to pass that along to your home audio gear. And it even features the new ARC standard, which you won't find on a lot of competing products. If you have any further questions about anything I've covered today, please check the FAQ on our website where we provide much more information about the product or use the contact us link to send us an email and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. We really appreciate your support of the O-Ray products and thanks again for watching.